Now, Doja Cat's brother allegedly abused Doja Cat verbally and physically, knocked Doja's teeth out, gave Doja cuts and bruises. Any reaction to the restraining order against you? So what happened? What's the story? Doja Cat is in danger. Her mother is trying her best to protect the pop singer from her older brother. After her brother had attacked Doja Cat and knocked out her teeth, he's also being accused of choking family members, making threats, and stealing property. Doja Cat needs law enforcement to step in and save her from her brother. So let's get into it. I think we can all admit that Doja Cat is an interesting artist, and lately she's been pushing this whole satanic vibe, and I don't know how I feel about that, but I don't want to talk about that today. I want to talk about her brother. She has a really toxic relationship with her brother, and I want you to hear what she's saying, what he's saying, and how it's gotten so violent. I really did not see this video coming, because Doja Cat's brother allegedly knocked out her teeth claims their mother. So this is really a family affair. Doja's mom has been involved in this altercation with her brother. Now, I don't know much about Doja Cat's family, so let's just do a quick Google search. Here's her father, who actually is an actor. It's so interesting how you see these people in the industry and they like always have some type of connection. So this is her father here. Then we've got her mother here. Um, she's got a lot less uh, presence online. We don't have as many photos of her as we do her father. Then right here, we've got her brother, Ramon, who um, we will actually hear from in a moment because he is responding to these court documents with these really outrageous claims. So now that we know the family tree, let's get down to the story. Doja Cat allegedly was physically and verbally harmed by her big brother, or at least that's what their mother is telling the judge. According to new legal documents obtained by TMZ, Doja's mom, Deborah, filed for a restraining order against her 30-year-old son, Roman. In her filing, she makes some serious accusations. So Deborah, Doja's mother, is the one that's taking this to court, but Doja is listed as another person who needs protection from her brother, Ramon. Reason being is that the mother, Deborah, claims that Doja had her teeth knocked out by Ramon. But that's not all, because Doja's mom also claims that Ramon has given Doja cuts and bruises and destroyed and stolen some of her property. <sighs> Sounds like an op, not like a brother. It sounds like he's like, they've got some, you know, feud right here. Quote, Ramon has destroyed and stolen property. Ramon has verbally assaulted her in a very degrading and demeaning manner. Ramon has made her feel unsafe and traumatized. As for her own safety, Deborah claims that Ramon physically abused her and threatened her multiple times over the past year, claiming the most recent incident happened earlier this month. Now, I do question what is going on with Ramon. Does he have some mental health issues and is he in like some psychosis? Why is he so angry and abusive to his own family? Well, the evidence must be damning because a judge partially granted the temporary restraining order Friday pending a January 31st hearing, but stated there was insufficient good cause shown in seeking protection for Doja and the singer could file on her own. So he's saying, okay, mom, you came to court, you pled your case, we will protect you. But if Doja wants protection, then she's going to need to you know, come here herself. The petition said that Ramon 30 years old, has allegedly abused his mother three to ten times recently and several times in the past. And I think it's really telling when you look at the past because Deborah actually filed a restraining order from her son back in 2017. So it's like, what, six years ago, like five years ago when he was like 25. So clearly there's a pattern with this man. Deborah said the most recent abuse happened on January 10th when he allegedly blocked her from entering her home and refused to leave. She also accused him of verbal abuse, choking her and threatening to hit her several times <gasps> to your own mother. Mm, shame on you. Deborah said that her 13-year-old grandson had witnessed some of the abuse and requested that he be included in her restraining order. The parents of the teen were not identified in the paperwork. Looking at like the family, I mean, would it be his son? I mean, that means he would have had him at like 17. I don't think Doja has any kids. I don't have any other siblings, so I don't know where this grandson comes in. But Deborah wrote that she has constant anxiety and fear. I need those orders to protect the physical and emotional well-being of all parties listed. I am not only worried about physically violent episodes, but the tremendous mental and emotional damage that is being done. Now, we see Doja Cat all over the internet fighting with her fans, getting on Instagram lives, like cutting her hair, doing the most. But this is something she's not addressing. And it seems like it's a choice. I mean, 
mean, she has been active on social media, posting about headlining Coachella, which I will be at Coachella first weekend. If anyone has a group, they want me to go with them. I'm like, I need to find a group. But um, yeah, uh, Doja Cat will be headlining and she's posting about it, which is kind of surprising because she is someone who does take to social media to address rumors, to confront people. She doesn't hold back. So why is she going easy on her brother? Unless this maybe helps her legal case in some way. Now, the paparazzis have caught up with Ramon and he is talking. So I think it's important that we hear what he has to say about his case. What's going on, bro? How are you? Any word on what's going on with you and your sister and your family? Uh, they're saying that, you know, you knocked her teeth out. That's the accusation. The singer, don't you care? No, I don't know what it is. Anything to say to your mother? No, 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 no. What about your sister? Is he saying he doesn't know who that is? Mm. Okay, already off to a bad start. To the uh, restraining order against you? No, I have no restraining order against you. Are you denying what happened? So you did not hit your sister, you did not knock out her, her teeth? I haven't seen anybody in years, bro. What are you talking about? So what happened? What's the story? No restraining order against you, sir. We can see the legal documentation. But also, who caught up with him? Like, how did we know he was here? How did this moment come about? Did he call them? Who called? Is it true you got violent with your mother? So Ramon is saying, no, I haven't seen anyone in years. I didn't get violent with, you know, my mother. I didn't knock out my sister's teeth. Part of me, I don't know, but I'm not buying it. Something like seems a little disingenuous, a little bit dismissive. And if, you know, I mean, Doja Cat's a public person. Deborah knows this. Her husband is an actor, was an actor. Um, I think that this is probably something she really does not want to do, but had no other choice because clearly this guy is not taking even an ounce of accountability. So I would be scared as well. But let's go ahead and open this PL Box package item. It looks like it's from, hmm, actually I don't know. It says it's from another Sloan. So maybe your name is Sloan. And even though it's radio, I don't think it's a radio. Hopefully it's not something scary. I get like so scared sometimes opening these. So we've got this like hat right here. It says to keep your head warm this season. It says jazzy on it. And um, there's like this picture. I, is that supposed to be me? Is that, you guys need to see this. Is that me? Wow, cute. Look at this. Oh my God, I don't know why I was so scared. Is this like some like book magazine type thingy? Cute, uh, I love that. Hold on. Dear Sloan, I firstly want to thank you for all that you do and bring, <laughs> I was so scared in the beginning. Um, and I think your name is Sloan too, which is so cool. I was so nervous. I was like, I don't know. Like, I, you guys know. I, so I have all my um, PO box package items. They go through a security measure, but also at the same time, like, I have had like. Do you guys remember? You probably don't because this is not out there anymore. But someone sent me like a a drawing of my dog, which I've gotten a lot of those before. But it was like having its head cut off. That was really scary. Um, okay, back to this. Firstly, I want to thank you for all that you do to bring light to important subjects. Um, we as a culture may not see, may you stay safe and continue your great work. I'm sorry to hear that you run into trouble as far as reporting. Your fans are here for you. As Johnny Cash said, what's done in dark will be brought to light. Keep bringing them to light. I have for you my first book, Jazzy Mag, cute, with my website, jazzymag.net. And it looks like you can get it on Etsy as well, Jazzy mag by sloan which i think is so cool that your name is sloan varnook varnock varnock wow i think that's so cool i wonder if you were a guy no, not i mean i don't know i feel like you can't even ask gender anymore but usually sloan with an e at the end is for the the female version i guess of the name and with i never seen someone with without the e and you don't have the e wait is this you oh my god uh, there we go answer hi sloan so my first name my middle name is sloan but this is great. You're a comic artist and cannabis grower from California who currently lives in New York. I love New York. Oh, when I'm in New York, sometimes we should like catch up or something. Okay, awesome. Catch up like we know each other. But I'm like, I love to meet you guys. I remember back in the day when I lived in Florida, I would tell you like, if you're in this city, I'll be here from this time. If you want to go and get dinner, this is awesome. Thank you for sending it to, to me. It's so trippy. I want to like have it on like display, like on a table. But um, thank you and I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye guys. <laughs>